Hello, everybody. Remember me? Of course you do, because you're adorable. I just wanted to give you updates and to let you know that I am doing really well. My boo-boo healed over. I know it's kind of cool. But it healed over. It's my sewing room. So I am enjoying doing normal things. I still, the worst part about the secondary surgery, to be honest with you, and believe it or not, Dr. Carmody from Mayo Clinic up in Eau Claire, uh, Wisconsin here. What a cutie patootie. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, he did an amazing job. He had to do what he had to do. It left me with a big hole here that three, four times a day I had to take the bandages off and the packing. I had to pack it with gauze and that was soaked in salt water and you know re redo it the worst part was the tape from the bandaging i mean it was absolutely oh, i'm allergic to latex and guess what these tapes the glue on them are latex based horrible. Anyway, that being said, is that um, now that it's healed over, I haven't had to use tape on it, but just cover, you know, keep it clean and covered. And, but I am doing well. I hope you guys are too. And stuff. It is, you know, of course I'm in Toma and it's been snowing. See? Look. Oh, my goodness. We got snow. But it's not like the snow in Cleveland. The snow in Cleveland is, I think because of Lake Erie, it's a bit more damp kind of a thing. But that being said, um, I'm settled in to my happy new little home here. And, you know, it's very quiet. I mean, like, like in Cleveland, it was, it was noisy. I lived on a corner and the cars would zoom, zoom by. and meow. They never looked at the stop signs when they went by. <clears throat> now, I do miss Cleveland. I miss my friends. I miss my grandson. I miss my son and his new wife. Uh, but that, um. I miss Little Caesar Pizza. Like the closest one is like 40 miles away. They don't deliver this far away. <laughs> I miss my thrift store, Value World. I know, I know, Value World, I miss you. Open one here, I'll help you. Yeah, I'll help you. I'll work for you. Anyway, <laughs> that... Uh, I'm doing well. Amazingly, when they cut this hole in my chest, there was no pain. It was the oddest thing. So, like, when I was in the recovery room, I was expecting, you know, because when you're first coming out of anesthesia, you know, you're expecting, you know, you're still under the influence. So it's like, oh, okay. But, you know, the nurse kept coming up to me because I was in recovery for four hours till they could get my room ready. And they were so sweet. Mayo Clinic is so sweet, people. Anyway, she kept going, honey, do you want a pain pill? And I'm going, yeah, I'll take a couple Tylenol. And she's like, you don't want like an oxy code no no oxy none of that crap no couple tylenol and that is literally all i took in the recovery of this so as the anesthesia is you know and i'm settled in my room now and i'm expecting this to hurt 
it never came about. So come tomorrow, which uh, is what, I'm not sure, 17th or 18th of January, something like that. It'll be eight weeks. The incision itself and the wound, if you will, never hurt. The only thing that hurt was having to pull off that nasty tape. Yeah, I've written a few letters. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope you all are doing well. You know, I'm done with the antibiotic infusion as of two weeks ago. I had, I think I showed you I had a pick line in my arm. <clears throat> and I was so relieved. Not that it hurt, but you know it was there. And my biggest fear with the pick line was even though I covered it well, is that I'm going to wake up one morning and the thing is pulled out and I bled everywhere. But that didn't happen. They did a good job. <coughs> but I'm just sitting back. I do, no I do normal stuff. I go grocery shopping. I go to the laundromat. You know, of course, I'm working here. I do my own dishes. You know, if I feel like going out to eat, I do. Because I can. Yeah, baby. And, you know, so when I go up to Onalaska, which is 40 miles away, which is where all the shopping is, uh, I make sure to go to Olive Garden because I love Olive Garden. And that it's it's doing really good. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. And remember, showgirls, we'll talk to you soon.